reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 161 pounds. Fighting out of Brighton, Sussex, England, Brown. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Are you ready? Right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe it's a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Beautiful point. Nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than oh. this What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know what you did too much. You missed a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's in it. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to ring down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. All right, stacked guard here, DC. The feet are on the hips. What does that mean? I mean that he's out. I mean, he's out. The moment you get the feet on the hips, all he's got to do now is straight leg. He's got to kick and push because how is the opponent going to stop him from just elevating? This is a grown man. You let him get both feet on your hip, you push away, you kick. Jiu-Jitsu stand-up, you know what that is, Jay. I do. You understand that. You know, you went to your Jiu-Jitsu class. <laughs> Post the hand, switch the hips, get back to your feet, get back to fight. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Uppercut lands now. Oh! Brown gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio. The ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
All right, round two. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in the punch. Hit the punch. Big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Oh. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Punch over the top. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh! This is such a crazy fight. He's got him hurt here. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the set. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his double right. Oh, Takes the full right. Yeah. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong it end of that? Not, I mean, honestly. <laughs> I knew that was I'm coming. <laughs> oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Got clip with the right hand. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Big kick land. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Back to the feet. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 32 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout pound. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that.